So go to plot control, select animate, deform plus and deform result. Click on OK. So we have successfully animated our results. So hello guys and welcome back to our channel Simple Random Knowledge. So guys in last video we have seen how to perform stress analysis of cantilever B. If you have not watched that video then I will post a link of that video in description as well as in i button. In today's video we are going to see how to perform stress analysis of fixed end with a point load beam. We are supposed to compute the bending moment and shear force diagram for this figure. We have the value of E and value of PR and also we have the cross section of our beam which is 1 by 1 meters. So guys before moving towards our video there are around 80% of people who are watching this video but they haven't subscribed to my channel. So I genuinely request to all you guys that please do subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon near it. So without wasting any more time let's start with today's video. So guys this is the user interface of ANSI CPDR software. First step go to files select your option clear and start new. Now select your do not read file click on ok. Now ANSI CPDL will ask your permission whether you want to execute this command so click on yes. So using this command ANSI CPDL clears all your previous project data and provides you new fresh window. So we start with our experiment so first we set our preference as structural and then click on ok. So as we know in any experiment we have some preprocessor solution and general post processing steps. So same user interface you get in this software. So first we set our preprocessors. Select your element type, click on add. Select your add again. Now we are performing this experiment on beam. So select your beam, 2 node 188, click on ok. Now close this window. Now select your material properties, select material models. Select structural, linear, elastic, isotropic. Now we have the value of E and value of PR. Input the value of E as 2.1, E double 1 and value of PR as 0.3. Click on OK. Now close this window. Now we move towards our section. Select your beam, common section. Now we have the value of breadth and height of our beam. So input the value of breadth as 1 and height as 1. Click on OK. Now this way we have defined the cross section of our beam. Now minimize this section and move to the modeling part. Select your create. Now we are going to create some key points. So select your key point in active CS. Now by default the first key point should be on origin. So just click on apply. Now second key point is on 6, 0, 0. Click on apply. And third key point is on 12, 0, 0. So click on OK. So this way we have defined the three key points. Now we are going to connect these three key points. So select your lines. Select line again in active coordinates. Now select key point number 1 and key point number 2, click on OK. Now similar way, select in active coordinate, select key point number 2, key point number 3, click on OK. Now this way we have connected these three key points with each other. Now minimize this create and move to the machine part. Select size control, manual size, lines, all lines. Now we are going to divide this line in 50 divisions. So select number of element division as 50, click on OK. So here you can see we have divided this line is 50 divisions and similar way we have divided this line in 50 divisions. Now we are going to mesh all these element divisions with each other. So minimize this line, select your mesh, select your line. Now at the bottom of this pop-up you can see the option pick all. Now we have completed with the meshing part. Now move to the loads, select analysis type, new analysis, select static, click on OK. Now go to define loads, select apply. Structural displacement on key points, select key point number 1 and key point number 3, click on OK. Now we are going to restrict all the degrees of freedom for key point number 1 and key point number 3. So select your all DOL, click on OK. So guys you can see in this figure we are supposed to restrict degrees of freedom for key point number 1 and key point number 3. And the load is applied at the key point number 2 which is 1000 newtons along the direction of FY. Now we are supposed to apply the load at key point number 2. But here is the problem. We are not able to identify the key point number 2 at this point. So what you can do is go to plot, select lines. So this way you can easily identify the difference between two lines. And now we can identify the key point number 2. So just minimize this displacement, go to force moment. On key points, select key point number 2, click on OK. Now as we have discussed, the force is along FY. 
and the direction is minus 1000 because it is in negative y direction so click on ok now this way we have applied the loads and we have restricted the degrees of freedom now minimize the structural loads and we have completed with the preprocessors now move to the solution part select solve current ls click on ok a few moments later so guys here we have got the prompt that solution is done so just close and close this window now we move to the general post processing steps so select here general post processing steps now first step go to result viewer now select your dof solution x component and just close this window again so guys this is the most important step if you miss this result viewer step you will get some kind of warning while defining this element table so now we move to the element table select define table now we are going to use four sequence for getting at bending moment and shear force diagram so just click on add so first sequence is three click on apply so here we have defined this element table successfully if you get some kind of warnings over here make sure you have not missed that result viewer step which we have discussed before now we define our next sequence which is six click on apply third sequence as 16 click on apply and last sequence is 19 click on ok so guys this way we have defined all the four sequence so close this window so guys now we are going to use this sequence for getting at bending moment and shear force diagram so go to plot result select control plot line elements now here we are going to select sequence 3 for node i and in the place of node j we are going to select sequence 16 click on ok so using this sequence we get the bending moment diagram of our beam so you can save the image instead of clicking the screenshot so just go to plot control select hard copy to file select file format as gpg or png whichever you prefer so i will select gpg you can rename this file and then click on ok so this file will be saved in your folder which you have selected while starting this ansys sepidio software now again go to line element so select the sequence in node i as 6 and in the place of node j select the sequence as 19 click on ok so guys this way we have got the shear force diagram for our beam so same way you can save the image just go to plot control select hard copy to file select file format as gpg click on ok so this way we have done with our shear force and bending moment diagram to get the deformed shape of our beam so go to deform shape select deform plus undeformed result click on ok so guys these results are in 2d form to get these results in 3d form go to plot control select style size and shape and a display of element turn it on click on ok so we have got the 3d model now this is the side view to get this in isometric view select the isometric now the last step which is remaining is to animate this result so go to plot control select animate deform shape deform plus and deform result click on ok so we have successfully animated our results so guys this way we have come to the end of this experiment i hope that you have enjoyed this video so please hit that subscribe button and press the bell icon near it and if you have not watched my previous videos on ansys epidio software then i will provide a link of playlist in description as well as in i button so until our next experiment stay safe and happy learning thank you guys